Okay, so welcome inside of Heatmap Tracker. So what I'm gonna show you, there's two different uh, versions of Heatmap Tracker, one being for the end user or the client. So this is if you're creating sub accounts, you can create as many sub accounts as you want to. Uh, and then there's also the administrator side of things. So controlling your package manager, where all the data is gonna be stored, all of that kind of stuff. So what I'm gonna do now is show you inside of one of the sub accounts that I've created. And so you can create you know, all of your different projects or, or different websites. And it for each project that you create, it just gives you a simple tracking script. So you wanna put this on your website on, on each of the pages that you wanna track, similar to a Google Analytics script. Okay, it just goes into the back end of, of your code and it starts tracking immediately. And it's gonna show you the total number of visitors, the number of pages that are being tracked, and then the total sessions based on all of those visitors. So we just installed uh, this this script on this site here. And if I click on project dashboard, that's when you can dive into all of the heat map and, and user session data. So again, you can uh, get your, your tracking script right here. You can see uh, the number of sessions and times where people are coming from uh, in the world. And where the, the data really gets fun is, is inside of user sessions and heat maps. So uh, for the user sessions, as you can see, it's recording every single session uh, from that, that came to my website. It shows you what operating system they're using, what browser, what their IP address was, what country they were coming from, how long the session time lasted, uh, the day and the time of that session, and then which pages they viewed and also what path they took uh, you know, on your website. Okay. Now you could also delete uh, specific uh, data if you wanted to. Uh, but so I could click on any one of these and see here, you know, uh, this person is using Windows, Firefox. Uh, they're from Canada. They stayed on for two minutes and seven seconds. And so if I click on this uh, play icon, it's going to take you into the actual session. So it's going to show you exactly how they're looking at it. Everything from their browser to their screen size to the type of, of um, operating system that are, they're using. And so you can uh, click on play here at the top and you can see, you can, you can choose which page you want to look at based on you know, what, they were, what they were looking at. And I can see their, their screen size was 1280 by 913. And if I click on play here, okay, you can see that they scrolled a little bit. And now they, and then it also showed that left click. So you can see there, now it took, now it's going to the products page. So it automatically flipped over to the product page, which is the second page that they're looking at. And as you can see, they're looking at specific products on, on this site um, there. And you can see everything that they're doing. You can see them scroll. If they right click, if they left click, you can um, see that. If they're filling out an opt-in form, you can watch that as well. So you're seeing everything in real time how they're engaging and interacting with your website. Okay. This there's a, a thousand one ways that you could use this data. You can see that they just right clicked. Maybe there's an issue with your site. Maybe there's a, a broken link. Maybe the, the website is, is rendering differently on their, uh, their browser based on, you know, whatever type of configuration they have. So I can sit here and I can watch each of these different sessions. Okay. So you have all of the sessions here. Okay. And then you can also click into heat maps. So this is where you get into your clicks, uh, your heat maps by clicks, by eye tracking, which obviously we can't track their eyes, but we can track their mouse. So that's really what it's tracking. And then there's, and then scrolling. So I could choose which map I want to look at. So for right now I'll do a, a click map and say that I wanted uh, digitalkickstart.com, which is the, the main site and then how much data that I want to be analyzed just in the last day, the last week, the last month, or a specific date range. So for this example, I'll just say last week, and I'm gonna click on generate heat map, okay? And so what it's doing is it's, it's loading up all of that information and you can see there's 115 points that were analyzed from, uh, now this has only been tracking for a few days, but you can see uh, based on uh, the heat map where people are clicking. So you can see a lot of people have been clicking the products um, area. They're clicking this button here. Okay, I can scroll down. I can see that they've been clicking on uh, a few areas here in the middle here. Uh, they've clicked on the, this one product sales page. Okay, so a lot of these buttons here are what's being clicked. So you can see anywhere that the user is clicking. Okay, so that's for for the the click type. Now, if I wanted to do eye tracking or, or mouse tracking, uh, it's a little bit of a different um, 
uh, heat map. Okay, so there's been 4,560 points analyzed. And you can see this is where the user's mouse has been. So you can see the mouse has been very much so in that, that top hero area to, uh, in the navigation. And then you can see uh, it's on the sides because a lot of them, you know, when you're scrolling, okay, you can see a lot of the, uh, a lot of people looking at my webinar ignition product, which actually kind of makes sense because this is one of our more popular products. So uh, it makes sense that a lot of people are are focused on that area. Okay, um, same thing with this white label millionaire product. This is another product that's very popular. Um, so you can see why people are, um, you know, clicking on on that sales page. So you can see everywhere that the mouse is going. Um, and so it's a little bit of a different heat map. Now, the other type of, of heat map that we have is the scroll heat map. So you can click on generate and uh, for, uh, about 1400 uh, different points analyzed. And you're gonna notice that it's going to show you the percentage of people that saw um, this amount of your screen. So you can see 100% of the people saw this amount. Now you can see here, it starts to drop off because of mobile devices and things like that. Now you can see that there's a, a significant drop off after this part here, okay? From, from, you know, from this find us on Facebook area, you can see about, it drops to about 50%, okay? And then you can see if I keep going down, the more I go down, the less number of people are seeing this. And as you can see, only about 5% of the people are actually seeing this newsletter sign up form. So, you know, that may tell me, hey, only 5% are seeing this and try, you know, to try to get them on my list. Maybe I need to bump that up somewhere, right? Or maybe I need to put it up closer to the top. Okay, there's a lot of different ways that you can interpret the um, each of these different maps. So that's what the scroll maps do. So you can so you can generate all three of these different types of, of heat maps. You can also look at popular pages to see um, a breakdown of which of your pages people are going to. Um, so obviously I can see that a lot of people are going to the different products that I offer as well as my main uh, homepage. Obviously that this is gonna be different um, uh, for every single website. Now, if I click on manage data, this is where you can see how much data is being stored on the server. Now with the version 2.0, we do uh, allow you the option to install heat map tracker on your own server, or you could install it on Amazon RDS. So we have an integration with Amazon. So uh, obviously Amazon is, is very inexpensive and it won't bog down your server. Now, um, it, the, the total size of the data is actually not that bad. And you have the ability to purge the data after a certain amount of time. So you could, you know, take a certain date range and you can delete that, um, that data if you want to, okay. You can delete certain, you know, you could do sessions or, or heat maps, uh, or popular pages just to keep your server clean. Uh, if you're ever worried about that. So we do give you a few different options. Okay. Now, then there's also just some basic settings like being able to enable or disable uh, the record, uh, the sessions, uh, being able to stop IP addresses. Maybe there's certain IP addresses that are skewing uh, your, your data, so you can remove those. Uh, you can choose your, your local time zone, um, record mouse movements, record page scrolls. If you, for whatever reason, if you don't want that data, you don't have to have that recorded. Uh, you can do session uh, delays. So uh, basically if the user will be inactive after a certain amount of time, if say they go to your website and they're on there for, you know, they, they leave their computer, uh, you could have it automatically stop so that data is not getting um, stored, okay? So this is what you're going to see. Uh, there's help videos and then a support link as well. Now, when you are the admin, okay, we're gonna show you a few other uh, options that the, the the normal user doesn't have. So this is the 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 super admin uh, where you can create uh, as many users or or clients as you want to. Okay, so these are unique installations. Okay, they have their own login. You can actually log in as each uh, individual customer or client or user if you want to. Um, you can delete and edit them. And what's really cool is, especially if you are gonna sell this data as a service, you can create different packages. So you can go down to package manager. And if I click on create package, what I can do is give this uh, a package name. So I can call it like, you know, basic plan or whatever I want to. And I could say, you know, uh, th this is where you can control, you know, how many domains you want the, the user to be able to track. Say for this client, they're gonna get five domains. Uh, maybe I wanna give them a, a seven day free trial. 
Uh, I can choose what currency I want to be paid in. Everything is seamlessly integrated with uh, with PayPal, okay? And then you can choose how much you want to charge. And so maybe, you know, I'm charging $25 a week and then maybe $50 uh, bi-weekly and maybe it's, you know, $200 per month. If they pay by annual, I don't know, maybe maybe it's $800. So now you can choose whatever you want and it, it will automatically send them PayPal invoices for them to pay. Now, you can also add extra domains if you want to as well. Okay, now I'm just gonna not choose that. And so when, if I go into uh, a user's um, area here, let me, and you'll see here, uh, right now this is just a free user, but if it wasn't a free user, if you were actually charging your client, you can click here, and this is where they can control their payments. So uh, if I if I wanted to, you know, I could now obviously, like I said, this is a free uh, installation. But if I was charging, you know, you can click here, and you'll see we have this little wizard where they choose the the package that they want. Okay, so um, these are all the different packages that we've created. So say there's this this package here, and the payment schedule is whatever the client wants. If it's weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, or annually. So say they wanted to pay, you know, $15 a month for this package. Okay. They get two domains based on the package that I created. If they wanted extra domains, you know, you can obviously, you know, they could buy more and that's completely up to you. And then how much the, the first amount is going to be the payment terms, you know, next payment will be every 30 days. The amount is $15. And then they can uh, click continue and it's going to allow them to check out and pay with PayPal. And then that creates an active subscription and that gets put right into your PayPal account for every time that they buy. So that is how uh, all of your clients will pay you. And it's, and it's all 100% automated. Okay. Now there's also a few other uh, options for the, the, the super admin. We have this, uh, this AWS, uh, so Amazon RDS. So you can, all you need to do is put in your, your key, uh, and your secret key, and it will automatically spawn off a, uh, an RDS instance. So all of the data that's being tracked will go onto Amazon and not onto your server. Okay. So you do have that, that option. Uh, you have both of those options really. Okay. Then you also have, uh, ad administrative, uh, settings. So you can, this is where you put in your PayPal email address. You can put in your logo so it can be completely white labeled for your own company. Okay. Um, so obviously it's, it's installed on your server, so you can put it anywhere on your server that you want. This heat map tracker logo will be, you know, your, your business logo. Then you could also put in your own user help section. So maybe you have you know, your own tutorials, your own, uh, you know, uh, videos, training videos, you can uh, change that. And then you could also change the support URL. So uh, everything is 100% white labeled for your business and they, and your clients won't see any instance of heat map tracker at all. Okay. So as you can see, guys, I mean, the, uh, the, it's, it's fairly simple to walk, you know, walk through, um, this, it's very simple just to set up new projects. Um, you know, for each project that you create, you know, here's, here's another one, click on create. Whoops. Uh, if I click on create here, boom, just added another instance and it gave me my script. I installed the script and it starts tracking immediately. Okay. So very, very simple to use. And this data is extremely powerful. Okay. It's a powerful, and there's so many different ways that you can use this data. Okay. Everything from testing to ensure that different devices, different browsers are rendering properly uh, when they're looking at your website from, you know, getting in, uh, insight on, you know, a, a website redesign on doing a B split testing. Maybe there's a form that's broken, uh, analyzing your checkout process, uh, analyzing, you know, your navigation structure to ensure that people are finding what they want to in a reasonable amount of time. There are just a thousand and one different ways to, uh, to use this data. Okay. And, and like I said, um, there are, are solutions out there that charge hundreds of dollars every single month for this, where, whereas this is a one-time lifetime charge and you're getting, uh, unlimited pages being tracked, unlimited sessions, unlimited visitor visitors. There's no restrictions on heat map tracker. Okay. So, um, that is your live demo.